Konnichiwa, Rokori Tachi here and welcome to a special series I'm starting called the 10 step guide to buying anime figures. So if you're just starting out on your figure collecting journey and you don't know where to begin, we've all been there, you know, being a beginner, want to get into this, don't know how to get into this, where do I start? Well this videos or video series I should say is going to be there to guide you give you a complete guide on buying those anime figures showing you what types there are bootlegs customs bargain sites you know, all stuff that you need to know to buy and collect anime figures so let's start with number one what figure yeah this is generally the first question you're going to ask yourself you know what figure do I buy because you've just watched a show and you've really enjoyed yourself watching it and you thought okay I want to buy some merchandise from that show and I'm gonna go for an anime figure what one do I buy well hold fire don't rush onto eBay and buy one as soon as you see it because you might regret that in the long run because I know I have let's look at the types of anime figures first of all so number one we have figmas now figmas are like your general action figure you know they have posable joints and you can move their arms and their legs and they have accessories they come with changeable faces so you can change your expressions and sometimes even interchangeable accessories as well so you can actually change the accessories with other figmas and therefore in some way create your own anime character if you really wanted to the thing with figmas is they are 14 centimeters in height so they're not very big sometimes they can be a bit taller sometimes a little bit shorter but usually 14 centimeters is usually the size you will get they can be displayed i mean if you want to be just like me and put them on the display and enjoy them for what they are then fine but you'll find with figmas that people love to pose them they love to put them in different positions and take photos of them and just generally play with them after all if you're buying this kind of thing and you want to enjoy it that way then that's awesome I know a lot of people like to keep their uh, figures in the box which we will touch on that subject subject in a later video but figmas you know they are just generally there for you to play around with pose and enjoy and that's what I really liked about them to be honest with you now for prices now prices will vary because if you are going to buy the newest one that's just come out or you're going to buy one that's come from a show that's really popular then you're going to find that they are going to be expensive but there are Figma bargains out there and we will talk about bargains in a later video on to our next one and that is Nendoroid now Nendoroids are a lot like Figmas they have the changing faces they have accessories and again interchangeable accessories as well so what's the difference you're wondering well they are chibi so they have a small body big head and this makes them cute this is their appeal everybody loves nendoroids because of the whole cuteness factor and you'll see what i mean by these pictures because they just do look so dare i say kawaii so this is why people go for them because they just have that whole cute factor and you can put them again different poses and you can play with them and there is just that with them and it does give you again like the same with Figma endless possibilities of what you can do with them so you can just enjoy them to a huge extent you don't just have to leave them on the shelf and that's it you can play with them every day if you really wanted to it's entirely up to you again prices will vary for the Nendoroids they can go up to um, I'll say this in pounds, about fifty pounds, um, sometimes a bit more than that. It depends again on the kind of Nendoroid you go for. If you're going for one again that's just come from a popular show, then expect to pay more. Right on to our next type of figure, the ones I collect: scaled PVC figures. Now there are loads of these out there, and you will see you will be bombarded with them basically because there are absolutely a humongous load of them out there and uh, they range from about 1 8 scale to 1 4 scale now 1 4 scale is like 17 inches so that is pretty huge however there are ones that are bigger than that 
So again, it is entirely up to you what you want to go for. The good thing with scale PVC figures is that they are usually very beautiful. If you buy them from someone such as Kotobukiya, Alta, Good Small Company, you're going to get a product that's just going to knock your socks off basically because they are going to be produced to the highest standard and you will be very happy with them. Uh, the other thing with scale PVC figures is that usually, you know, there's not usually construction required, um, but sometimes you'll find that there is some little accessories in the box or some bits that have got to be put onto the figure, and uh, that'd be it. But usually there is instructions included, so you won't have too much trouble with it. Sometimes I've had it before; they will try your patience, and you'll be okay. Seriously, this is getting on my nerves, but bear with it. You'll you'll win in the end, and you'll be happier for it. The good thing as well about scale PVC figures is the detail. These companies, they love to put detail into their figures. They love to make them look like they're going to come alive and come off the shelf. You know, they want to depict the character to the highest standard. They want to make them look like the character from the show and just capture that essence. And that's what you get with scale PVC figures. You always get that feeling that they've captured the character to the best of their ability and that's what I love about them. So the detail, you'll find that there'll be like wrinkles in clothing, that kind of stuff, you know, or a little badge, if they're wearing a badge, to have the complete badge on there, like done right down to the smallest minute detail. You know, they will do as much as they can to make the figure look exactly like the character in the show, and that is what makes them really awesome, to be honest with you. Um, there are other uh, figures in the PVC scaled section um, of course we have cast off PVC figures now like scaled PVC figures these can come in different poses and you can get dynamic poses and that kind of stuff with the scale PVC but with cast off usually they're in some kind of erotic pose or you know multi kind of pose something that's just a little bit you know cheeky and uh, it's entirely up to you if you want to go for cast off figures because the idea is is that they have got accessories that you can take off and you can f view them, dare I say, in their full glory. Um, and uh, yeah, again, it's entirely up to you if you want to go for it. Um, of course, there are erotic figures. I've got to touch on the subject, apologies. Um, out there, there are ones that uh, are considered to be quite beautiful and there are also others that are considered to be quite dodgy it's highly up to you if you want to buy them it's you know it's, it's your discretion if you want to go for erotic figures they are out there and i'm sure you will be able to find quite a lot of them uh, to be honest with you if you check out myfigurecollection.net which i will be telling you about in a latest um, later video now as for the prices, uh, again it depends on what kind of scale PVC figure you go for because they do vary again in price. You can pick them up cheap, you can pick them up really expensive. The Zero Kazami 1.6 scale I believe it is, it's either 1.5 one, one or 1.6 one scale, you're looking at around £500 and I am not kidding you on that, that is how expensive they can go up to. So bearing in mind what you want to go for before you start collecting because you may find that your bank account won't like you very much. Finally we move on to Gashapon figures. This is actually not the final one, there's one more to go so apologies. But Gashapon figures, these are smaller versions of your characters so you know you can buy these, these usually around about sort of four or five inches. They usually come in sets and they are very cheap to be honest with you and they are great for starting out with your figure collecting because you can get hold of your favorite characters from the show and you'll find that they will quite quickly fill up your shelf they are usually um, uh, requiring assembly sorry <clears throat> my voice is going um, they, yeah they are usually you can require they do require assembly so not too difficult to so you'll find that you can put them together quite easily and the other good thing about them is if your friends buy them then you can maybe trade them with your friend it's entirely up to you if you want to keep them or not um, but these are again usually quite cheap now finally um, what I should have said after scale PVC figures is garage kits 
don't go out and buy a garage kit because if you think, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm not saying don't do it ever, but I'm saying if you think you, you're on eBay and you, you see a figure and you think, wow, she's amazing, I want to buy her, and it turns out that she's a garage kit, you're going to be sorely disappointed because garage kits or model kits as they're known um, are kits that you put together, you paint, you make the figure. And if you haven't got the skill to do that, then you are going to be stuck. Um, there are loads of garage kits out there, there are loads of model kits out there, and there are a lot of them on eBay. So make sure you're reading the description in the listing to check whether it's a garage kit or a model kit, because if it's either one of them, and you are not looking to make your figure, then don't buy it, because otherwise you will find that you'll just get grey parts that need to be painted and all put together and glued and everything and uh, you'll find it a whole world of a headache basically. So that is it for part one of this uh, 10 step guide to anime figure buying. I will see you for part two where we will look at sites you can buy your figures from and of course those dreaded bootlegs. So until next time I will say thanks for watching, sayonara.